Good morning. Uh, so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a tutorial this morning. I was recently down at uh, Sussex Inlet for a few days away and I brought back some really nice photographs from the area. So um, I thought I'd just show you my kit and um, what I like to use. So I generally use this is my basic kit, which is just the Windsor & Newton. You can see it's pretty well used. Um, and I get lots and lots of tours out of that little set. It's just their regular set of colours. Uh, it's not actually a bad range. It's, it's really a student quality, but the pigments aren't too bad. But added to that, I do like my own range of paints as well. Um, just some paints that I've worked out over the years that I really like to use. So I've added to this basic set of Windsor & Newton. These are mostly, in this palette, uh, Daniel Smith paints. Um, and they're tube paints that have been squeezed into an empty uh, palette. Um, I think to buy the Windsor & Newton um, sketch palette, the travel palette is quite expensive, but then the paints are as well. But um, I just like this size too because it's so compact. So I have just taken out, this, this set was nearly used up anyway, so I've just taken out these little um, containers that are inside. They just pop out with a knife. They're quite easy to get out. Uh, and I've filled uh, this empty set with um, some of my preferred paints. So uh, in here I've got um, transparent yellow, um, there's a phthalo blue, there's a uh, lunar black is a colour that I really love to use. It's granulating and it's just great for getting those really dark, dark colours. Uh, uh, Alvaro Grey is a lovely colour for shadows. Um, Green Appetite, which is a really favourite colour at the moment. A Viridian, which is also, you've got a Viridian also in the Windsor & Newton set. Uh, Burnt Umber. Scarlet Lake, I really love that colour. It's a real bursty uh, red-orange. Uh, a little bit more uh, zoom to the pigment than what there is in the Cad Red in the Windsor & Newton. And a huge favourite of mine is a Red Gold. That's also available in Art Spectrum um, and Windsor and & Newton, not Windsor & Newton, uh, and Daniel Smith. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is my added set that I like to use. I just thought I'd let you know. Uh, I know that on the list uh, is this set. Um, but if you've got preferred colours, um, you're welcome to bring any of those. If there's something that you love working in and you think, oh, yeah, I'd like to bring that, bring those. Uh, and just add to your set, as long as it's not too bulky, you don't want anything too bulky to be carrying around. Um, so I really like these uh, water brushes. You can get them. This is a flat one um, you can get the round there's a lot of different types there's lots of different brands shapes and sizes so um, I usually have a round and a flat uh, but added to that and someone was asking me the other day well don't I take the regular um, leaf brushes this one's so old it's falling apart um, <clears throat> I do like to take this little one. I think it's a six. It's all wearing off now. I think it might be a size six. So it's a Neef Squirrel Mix brush and I have uh, newer ones. But this one I've cut off so it fits in my little pack. Um, yeah, I do like to take them because they're, they're such a lovely brush to use. Um, they're much better quality than these water brushes even though this one's looking pretty daggy at the moment. Look at all, it's just falling apart. Um, it's, it's well used, that's for sure. <laughs> so apart from that, I also like a little tiny fan brush. 
uh, great for doing uh, vegetation, um, sticky uh, vegetation, and, and you can really sort of rough up the paint, which, yeah, that, that's really handy. That's also been cut off to fit because these come with long handles, and I don't need a long, long handle uh, when I'm working in my sketchbooks, so that's why it's cut off like that. Um, I don't mind it. This is just a cheapo from Heaven's Knows Where brush. Um, it's just a nice soft flat brush. I find that that's quite good for getting in big areas. Uh, if you just want a big sweep of colour and maybe in the washes. Whereas this is you know much smaller. You can't really get these water brushes. I don't think you can in this size. So there's just a couple of other brushes that I would bring. Um, so there was a nice sunset down at Sussex Inlet and I thought I'd just paint that today in my little journal. This is my Bohong journal. Um, and uh, the other thing I don't think I put on the list is a spray bottle. Um, that's handy, especially for when you start the day and you want to mist mist your paints. Uh, also good to know, see how messy. This one's been cleaned up, but this one is quite messy. So all I do to clean that up is spray it, get a tissue, and just wipe it off. Probably tissue that doesn't lose all its stuff. Or even a, like a Chuck's wipe or something like that might be better. Wet wipe. Okay. So it does clean it up. The other thing I do if I'm near a tap, I'll just run that quickly under a tap and it cleans it up even better. It just takes that top layer of mess off. Um, yeah, it seems to be something that worries people. It doesn't worry me so much. I'm, I'm not so careful about getting the colours totally pure sometimes. But if I wanted that burst of, um, I'll just show you what I'm looking at, is um, that sunset. So I do want that nice burst of that sunset in the distance. So that I would like to use some clean paint for that. So what I've done is just started with a bit of water using the flat brush and I've used some of this transparent yellow. You could use, if you're just taking one of these kits, a lemon yellow. That's fine. That would be work just as well. Um, and I've just splattered some of that in that section there where I want that um, setting sun and then with water there's water in this brush I'll just squeeze out a little bit more water I'll just loosen it up a little like that okay so I want to bring in some other color I can just see there's just some of this yellow up into the sky this is where you might want to bring in your other brush now water dippers so I do like this little water dipper that I got from the art store uh, you can find it in your favorite art store usually and they're just plastic they're not the metal ones because we're just working working with watercolor and not using um, toxic uh, mediums or anything so um, if you just fill these of a, of a morning under a tap and you've got the little leads that go on and then you've got your water if you want a little bit of extra water. You usually got a drink bottle or something. Sometimes there's a tap or a stream or um, that's another thing I like to do. Um, when I'm traveling, I do like to use, say, the water out of a stream or the ocean, the Mediterranean or wherever. To me, that just also makes... Um, to me, it makes the little sketch that I'm doing part of the area where I am. 
and that's that's something from that area I can actually bring back I can say yes I used water from the Mediterranean or from the Darling River or wherever um, uh, in that sketch and to me that means something uh, I could be crazy but um, to me that that does mean something so you will need a bit of water you might just have a drink bottle anyway so you know maybe just the lid of the drink bottle you could use but I do like this little dipper it's got a clip where you can clip it on to your book um, or a couple of pages if you if you wanted to just you know sit it on and work from that um, we're always trying to reduce uh, what we have but um, some things are just essentials so I'll just bring in a bit more water a more colour it's always good to bring a piece of scrap paper um, just to test your colours Sometimes I'll do that on the opposite page. I'll just do a whole test of colours or even down down this page I might do a test because we're not really doing a painting that's going to be framed um, unless you want to. Uh, it's totally up to you. But, um, you know, I don't mind seeing test, my test colours down one side that I'm using so then I might go into some let's go back to this one let's try some red gold and yeah that's really I need more water in that to loosen up that color to colour the whole thing. Now if I want to get out some light, I might even pop in a bit of white gouache into that while that's um, while that's wet so it can just sink in and that gives a nice little burst so you will need some white gouache as well. Um, some here let's just pop that in and let it disperse these brushes are easy to clean so um, just you will need to bring tissues I usually just bring the little travel packs of tissues so you just squeeze out and squeeze onto a tissue like that. Okay, so let's just plop some water in there and see what happens. Okay, so now there's some blues. Um, yeah. And you can see I, I can just squeeze out water as I need. So I'm not making this like a total painting painting. It's still just, it's just remember that it is a sketch. So it might not even fill the hole. And it's amazing. It's amazing how um, they really improve when they dry. So I might bring just a little bit of... Now I'm conscious that I've only got limited time here, otherwise Facebook won't let me post it. So I might have to do this in a couple of sections. So this is just setting up for the, the sunset itself. A little bit of some of the blues come into it. You could be using French Ultra. I think I've just chosen some Cerulean, which is in my other palette. 
I'll put it in the notes what else the other things that I use of course if you you don't have to follow exactly what I use you can bring your own favorite colors your own favorite sets of paints your own books that you prefer to use you might prefer um, to use pens uh, watercolor pens or um, blocks uh, those little um, chunky blocks of color they're quite good to the sticks I mean okay so that's getting there you see as it dries in it's doing some nice little things as it dries in this will improve when I put the darks in uh, so yeah I'm going to do a little sample of colors down here the colors I'm using I did use a cerulean blue uh, they're, they're the three colors I've used so far so I'll continue this on another tutorial um, it, please ask questions uh, I'm open to any questions so um, talk soon